Rhino Shield versus Moment. Which wide lens is better? If you're new to Filmic Pro and want to learn how to use the app to its fullest potential, then check out our course, The Complete Guide to Filmic Pro. You'll learn how to master the controls and the features of the app, along with best practices for before, during, and after your shoot. Link is in the description. Hey guys, Blake Calhoun here. For this comparison, I shot on an iPhone XS Max, and I put both lenses on the Moment case. So this is the Rhino Shield 4K wide lens. And then here is the Moment, 18 millimeter wide. The Rhino Shield weighs in at a light 33.98 grams. The Moment is more of a heavyweight, weighing in at almost double at 75.72 grams. So like I did in the Rhino Shield review, I'm going to use photos here uh, along with video. If you haven't seen the Rhino Shield review, I'll put a card right here and a link in the description. So this is the moment wide, and here's the Rhino Shield, and right away you'll see the distortion. I'm not saying that's good or bad, I'm just saying it's there. And then here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Now this is cropped in on the center 100%, and both lenses perform well. They're pretty sharp in the middle. But when you start looking closely at the edges, it's a little different story. They both exhibit chromatic aberration and fringing and almost look out of focus. Now we'll come back to this though because this doesn't happen all the time. Or at least it's not as prevalent all the time. Here's the moment wide. Notice the lens flare on the right. And the Rhino Shield. Pretty similar looking in this shot overall. And then here's the center of the image. Both look pretty sharp. But again, problem on the corners, the edges of the frame. And here's Moment again. And Rhino Shield. This shot you can see the distortion pretty easily. And then the moment cropped in and the Rhino Shield. And now check out the edges on this one. This was pretty interesting. Almost looks out of focus on the moment. While it's not perfect on the Rhino Shield, it does look sharper, looks more in focus. So we're really pixel peeping on this video, and I'm not actually a fan of these kind of charts, but I just wanted to look at this in a more controlled environment. So the first one here is the moment wide, and then here's the Rhino. And they both look pretty good. You can see the distortion of the Rhino shield more here. And then going in on the center, I think the moment might be slightly sharper, but just a little bit. But then when we look at the corners, we start seeing the chromatic aberration again. The moment more so than the Rhino Shield in this test. The Rhino Shield actually looks pretty clean here. And another corner here on the moment lens, and it's there, but it's not nearly as prevalent. And the Rhino Shield is looking pretty good, pretty clean. So after shooting those trees, I wanted to do something that had straighter lines. So I wanted to try a couple other more simple looking scenes. And this first shot is the iPhone XS Max wide lens. So I'm using this as a baseline. And here's the moment wide. And the Rhino Shield. And overall, these do look pretty similar. When you jump into the corner, you will start seeing the edge softness and some chromatic aberration, and then pay attention to the sharpness also of the wall there. So here the Rhino Shield is less soft on the edges. There is still chromatic aberration, but the wall is actually sharper. And here's one more photo test before we move on to video. This again is the iPhone XS Max wide as a baseline. This one's interesting because you can clearly see the lines on the telephone pole and the building and the fence. 
And then when you go to the Rhino Shield, you can see it's distorted. It might be kind of cool in some cases, but you can see how the moment is not distorted. And that can also be good, depending on what you're shooting. Now looking a little closer, they both exhibit chromatic aberration here. Looks very similar on both lenses in this scenario. And then here on the moment, compare the truck on the outer edge and then the car in the middle. And pretty much the same story with the Rhino Shield. Okay, now on to some video testing. And here's the iPhone native wide. And now here's the moment wide lens and the Rhino Shield with the slight distortion. And here's a side by side. They're both looking pretty good. And here's the center and it looks sharp. The center of both have been nice and sharp the whole way through. But now on video two shooting 16 by nine, I'm getting chromatic aberration, fringing and softness on the edges. Same with the Rhino Shield, just not quite as prevalent. Here's a baseline iPhone wide shot. And then the moment wide. And by the way, this was all shot with Filmic Pro. And so these shots look pretty good side by side. Now doing a little more pixel peeping here, you'll see the chromatic aberration in the high contrast area of the corner there around the tree. And then it's pretty much the same thing with the Rhino Shield. Now here's a time-lapse sample I did. Both these shots look pretty similar. Again, the main difference is really just the distortion in the Rhino Shield. The centers of the image both look sharp. And then the corner here on the moment, the aberration or the fringing or the softness is not quite as prevalent here. Although the Rhino Shield does look a little cleaner, a little clearer. Now shooting out at a lake moment wide. And now the Rhino Shield. Side by side, both look pretty good. The center of the image looks sharp on both. And now here's some heavy chromatic aberration. Very high contrast shot, and this is where that kind of thing can occur. Which, by the way, you can fix this in post-production to a degree. I'm not going to go into that here, but this can be somewhat minimized. And in this particular shot, the Rhino Shield, while it does have some chromatic aberration, it's not nearly as bad as the moment. And now for some more geekery here. Focus chart, not my favorite thing, as I said earlier, but interesting here, I think, nonetheless. And especially because the moment looks good across the board. And so does the Rhino Shield. And so, yeah, it's a little bit confusing to me because the photo test of the same thing showed a lot of aberration with the moment lens, especially. Not so much here. I'm bringing up the macro here because the Rhino Shield is a two-in-one lens. It's a wide lens and a macro lens. So that makes it pretty unique. We'll look at the Rhino Shield macro very briefly versus the Moment macro. The Moment macro lens comes with a hood that will diffuse the light, which can be helpful. Otherwise, when that hood is gone, they're pretty similar in size, although the Moment lens is heavier. It actually weighs about as much as the Rhino Shield combined with both lenses. These images are shot handheld, and so they won't be the exact same framing. Both lenses are sharp in the middle. You can definitely get some pretty interesting shots. The main difference will be the distortion. The Rhino Shield has more distortion.
and you can really see the difference in distortion with this shot of the table here. Look at the tabletop and the lines. So who is the winner? Well, let's go over the pros and cons of each. For the Rhino Shield, the pros are it's lighter, would work well on a gimbal. It's a two-in-one lens, so that includes a wide and a macro for one cost. In my testing, it had less chromatic aberration. It still had some, but it was less. And then it's also more affordable. It's currently about 30% less than the Moment lens. So then the cons compared to Moment would be that it has distortion. I think that's a con, but you may not. The other thing is it's not quite as sharp in the middle. The Moment does seem a little sharper. The Rhino Shield does not have an ND filter mount, at least not one that I know of. That's a big deal for video especially. And then the other thing is there's no big ecosystem of lenses. So now with Moment, the pros would be no distortion, and that's a pretty big one. I think the center is slightly sharper. They do sell an ND filter mount, uses 62 millimeter filters. And then there's a really good ecosystem with other Moment lenses, the Tele, the Anamorphic, etc. And then you could probably throw in the Moment Pro Camera app. That app will work with any lenses, but it has a feature in there that you can read the metadata of their lenses. And then finally, the cons of the Moment compared to Rhino Shield. The Moment is heavier, makes it harder to work with on gimbals. In my testing, it had more chromatic aberration, or it was prone to have more anyway. And that would also include having softer edges, especially in those tree shots. It's also more expensive, and if you add a macro lens, it's twice as expensive, maybe two and a half times. So then which one is better? I was really, really surprised by the Rhino Shield. It performed much better than I thought. But for me, I like the ecosystem of Moment. I like the build quality of the lens. And for the most part, when you're not pixel peeping, you don't notice the chromatic aberration. And for some of the shots that might have it, you can correct that in post-production. The other thing for me is I don't necessarily like distortion, especially if I'm shooting something more traditional or more narrative. So my final call would be if you're on a budget, you don't mind distortion, the Rhino Shield is a great lens, two lenses in one, macro and a wide. But if you're already in the Moment ecosystem, I personally would just stick with Moment lenses. So what do you think? I will stick with the Moment, although I own the Rhino Shield and I will use that on my gimbal. And the cool thing is both lenses work with the same case. So you could buy a Moment case or you could buy a Rhino Shield case. Thanks for watching guys, hope this video was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.